there. Thanks for joining me in the studio for some story time. For our first book, I chose The Girl with the Bird's Nest Hair. It's written and illustrated. Ooh, illustrated means that they drew the pictures in the book. It's written and illustrated by the same person, Sarah Dyer. Let's find out what it's all about. The Girl with the Bird's Nest Hair. by Sarah Dyer. Holly was just like lots of girls. She did not mind her messy curls. Holly did not like her hair being brushed, much to her mother's utter disgust. Then one morning she awoke to find a little bird had arrived. It had settled down to have a rest and made Holly's hair into its nest. Her mom, however, was not so sure. She was worried there might be more. You cannot keep it, said her mom, just in case more of them come. I don't know, I think it's kind of cute. Good enough, a second appeared, which was as her mom had feared. I should give my friends a good feed. We must go and buy some bird seed. Oh no. Look at her picture on the wall. As they went off to the shops, birds gathered in treetops. Two little birds soon became nine, but Holly thought all this was just fine. Can you find all nine birds? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In the supermarket, while Holly's mom bought pizza and bread, Holly's friends flew round her head. Ooh, that little bird is helping at the grocery store. Your hair is becoming a bit of a crush. I think now might be a good time to give it a brush. Holly replied, absolutely no way. All of these lovely birds are here to stay. Later that day, they went off to the farm. Holly took bird seeds tucked under her arm. While at the farm, they stopped for some cake. And Holly's mom cried out, for goodness sake, it's gone on too long. I must brush your hair. There are birds absolutely everywhere. No, mom, said Holly, it's perfectly fine. These little birdies are simply divine. Um, I see a bird in a coffee cup, do you? So off they went around the farm and Holly's mom tried to stay calm. While Holly was feeding the cow and the pig, her mother was worried that the birds were too big. That duck is far too big. On through the farm, Holly skipped, gathering pace. By now though, her hair was running out of space. With her mom chasing and waving a brush at her hair, Holly continued completely unaware. And behind her were turkeys calling out, gobble, gobble. Jumping on her head, they made Holly wobble, but that was nothing compared to what was to come and Holly cried out for her comb and her mom. Far behind her, a peacock leapt into the air and landed right in her messy red hair. Obviously, this all came as a bit of a shock. There really was no room for a large peacock. Watch out, that's too many. As Holly lay there squashed on the floor, she couldn't avoid it, not anymore. You can brush my hair now, Mom. I've decided to give in, she said, looking up from the ground with a cheeky grin. Did you spy all of these fun bird characters in the story? Thanks so much for joining me. Feel free to read it again with me.